Today, I'm going to share with you if I think Bitcoin gets a massive 30% halving correction to 50k. I'm also going to share with you some high potential altcoins I'm buying ahead of the Bitcoin halving in 17 days. And I'm going to tell you my exact playbook for making big money from narratives this bull run. So make sure you watch to the end, otherwise you're going to be exit liquidity for big influencers and perhaps end up wasting one of the biggest opportunities in your life. First things first, you need to be familiar with the four year cycle and the left translated and right translated theories. If you don't know how these work, you're basically running blind and you're pretty much doomed for this cycle and you'll have to try again in 2027. In our traditional four year cycles, they've always been right translated, which means the top occurs one year after the midpoint. So that means we have one year of down only followed by three years up to the top. Now this cycle, there's been some speculation that we actually topped this year in 2024 and that we have a two year bear market afterwards. Yes, I know that sounds painful, but it's a scenario that we have to contend with. If you actually want to change your life this cycle, you're going to have to get serious about it now because this cycle is going to be really hard to navigate and it's already proven to be really hard. Currently, we're around 44% of the way in for this cycle and we've got the halving coming up very soon. Now, I want you to be prepared for some volatility as we approach the halving. At the moment, there's three big questions that we need to keep an eye on. The first is, will the Bitcoin ETF flow sustain? If these start to slow down, it's going to be really bad for prices because this rally has been mostly driven by Bitcoin ETF flows. The second question is, is the halving already priced in? If we're following the 2016 cycle, then we should actually have already locally topped for several months around this level. And we will resume the rally towards the end of the year in September or October. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you some proof of how every narrative in crypto is always front run by the smart money weeks in advance. But if we did follow 2016 and we have a gradual 30% correction now and then we build a base for quite a few months and then towards the end of the year and in 2025 is where you make the real wealth building gains. I think a lot of us would appreciate that because it would give you more time to DCA your salary in and accumulate altcoins whilst they're still cheap. At the end of the video, I'll tell you what altcoin I'm accumulating now. But look, if you want to get rich in crypto, you're going to have to be able to go through some temporary pain. What we're really waiting for in crypto is this. What we've seen in the past few months is really just a test pump. If you were here in December and you remember the rallies that we got, that was with a minus 7% Bitcoin dominance dump. When Bitcoin dominance dumps 20, 30, 40%, that's when you make life changing money. And that always comes at the end of the cycle. So no matter what comes next, don't get shaken out of crypto like these normies on YouTube whose interest in crypto can't even last one week. And this is also why when I said we're 40% of the way into this cycle, you shouldn't feel late because it's the final 10% where you make all the money. But there's a huge problem with this cycle we're in. There's one huge difference. Can you think about what it is? It's the fact that we're already at all-time highs before the halving. Now, I've seen some YouTubers say that it doesn't matter, we're still following the four-year cycle. But I always take into account investor psychology because that's all these charts really are, investor psychology. So just think to yourself, what's going to have more impact on an investor's mindset? The Bitcoin halving, which most people don't even understand, or Bitcoin being at all-time highs? It's going to be Bitcoin being at all-time highs. In fact, normies I know in real life are starting to buy crypto. This is the portfolio I recently got sent. And if you're wondering how coins like Bitcoin Cash and Boom keep getting new buyers, it's usually new people downloading exchange apps, flicking through and buying the ones they think are good. The reason this person bought ICP was because he saw what price it was before and thought, okay, it can go back here again and I'll make a lot of money. One of the most powerful things you can do as an investor is think about what the crowd is thinking right now and two, think about how they're going to think in the future. Now with Bitcoin being at all-time highs, there's no denying some retailers here. But that's not really an issue. It only becomes an issue when they start making a lot of money. So when my friend over here messages me and telling me how much money he's made, I'll tell you that I'm exiting this cycle and selling all of my coins and waiting to accumulate in the bear market. And yes, there will be another cycle despite what YouTubers are telling you. People are never going to stop trying their luck with these coins. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how I plan on playing this regarding my portfolio and whether I think Bitcoin is actually going to have a 30% halving correction to around 50k or if it's ready to blast off towards 100k. At the moment, crypto native sentiment is divided into two camps. 
first we've got meme coin lovers and then second we've got people like KSI who hate meme coins. The reason this is happening is because Bitcoin dominance is in an uptrend and all coins are bleeding on their Bitcoin pair. And second, all the attention is focused on meme coins. This is exactly why I told people to buy the dip on some meme coins in my last video. If you listen to that, you'd be up quite a lot by now. And if it isn't clear by now, I don't make videos for the sake of it. I'm trying to give you a guide that you can utilize throughout the entire cycle. Anyways, I knew this would happen a long time ago with meme coins, jealousy, capitulation. We're starting to see some initial stages of it. But with that being said, I genuinely believe that this is going to be the first cycle where if you're not in the right coins, you probably miss the bull market. It's not going to be like 2017, not even like 2021 where the market gave mercy pumps to most altcoins. The reason I'm saying this is because I've already seen it happen with my own eyes. YouTuber favorite GFAL has done nothing for six months. QNT is another example of a coin that hasn't moved. And that's why I think this is the cycle of shattered dreams. So I'm really trying to stress to you now, the coins you hold are more important than ever. And it's your job to make sure you're holding the right ones. If you need help with your portfolio or coin selection, join the Discord and speak to people in the portfolio strategy channel. Or look through the gem forum where people are posting new gems every day that you might want to add to your portfolio because there's been multiple 10 to 100x calls in here. I also know that a lot of you are struggling with your portfolios right now with underperformance. So I decided I'm going to grind April 18 hours a day for you. These are the videos I'm going to upload. The goal will be to give you some fresh ideas for your portfolio. So this is the plan. We're going to identify the coins with the highest risk to reward potential in each sector for the 70 to 80 percent of power of our portfolio. Then I'm going to set traps and keep a lookout for gems hidden within specific narratives, upcoming launches, etc. That way we're going to get you out of any underperforming bags and instead make sure you're positioned for the maximum gains this cycle. If there's one channel you turn notifications on for, let it be this one. Now before I tell you if I think Bitcoin crashes from here and what altcoin I'm buying, I'm going to give you one of the most important skills you need to make wife change your money this cycle. And that is how to play narratives correctly and know when the trend is getting exhausted. So make sure you listen closely. So let's review one of the biggest narratives we had in this borrow so far, which was the Bitcoin ETF. Now during this rally, Bitcoin beta plays were really popping off. So let's look at the chart. I've built a narrative index composed of all the Bitcoin betas and then I've divided by the entire others index. So this chart shows you all the Bitcoin related altcoins and how they've performed versus the rest of the altcoins in the market. If that was confusing, this chart basically just shows you how strong Bitcoin ecosystem tokens were compared to other altcoins. So the main things to know are the blue line is the Bitcoin ETF approval date and the green lines are when it started pumping. So the Bitcoin ETF beta plays altcoins, they started pumping 40 days prior to the actual narrative and it topped three weeks before the actual approval date. And then it bled out for three months with ecosystem coins going down minus 70% and no one caring anymore about coins like Multibit. Now just keep that in mind and let's go to the NVIDIA AI conference that happened on the 20th of March. So with the NVIDIA conference, the date was on the 20th of March and they actually topped around 10 days prior and they started pumping around 30 to 40 days before. So with those two examples in mind, these are the key lessons that you need to know regarding narratives. Something that's really key is narratives are never invincible. During the tier season, everyone thought it could never go down again. During AI season, people were talking about how you need to have 100% exposure to AI altcoins. It's the same thing every time. People talk themselves into narratives at the top. So don't listen to them. Think for yourself and follow me for early alpha on narratives so you're not buying the tops. Join the Discord and claim the DGEN role to be pinged for any DGEN players that I find. And keep an eye on the Gold Alerts channel where I'll be posting more fundamental high potential gems. A couple of other things you need to know is you need to be around 30 to 40 days early to a, to a narrative. You can't be buying in the final three to four days before the actual date. And third, you need to be selling on the aggressive pumps that happened around 10 to 20 days before the actual narrative date. What I've just showed you with these narrative plays is genuinely one of the most valuable lessons you'll ever get from a crypto video. 
because you don't make money buying things that have attention that everyone on YouTube is talking about. You make money buying things that have low potential or things that people underestimate. I especially remember when we found Ondo below 0 15 in the Discord. I was telling my friend to buy it but he wouldn't because he didn't see the value of a governor's token but it ended up not mattering anyway because the price just went up. But when all of YouTube is talking about AI coins and the chart looks like this, stop and think about what you're doing otherwise you might find yourself down 50% within a few days. Now as for the coins I'm buying, I'm being very methodical with how I deploy my stable coins. I said in my last video the conditions for Bitcoin have changed. We have to be a little more cautious with how we spend our money. That's why I'm only focusing on one specific narrative at the moment and that is the Bitcoin halving. At least this way, if the market continues correcting, I have a percentage of my portfolio insulated by the added attention that these sorts of coins will get. So I researched Bitcoin halving bear plays and I've come to the conclusion that STX is the best play for this month. I was telling people to buy this a lot lower in my last videos and I think if you do want a solid large cap to DCA into, STX is probably the best bet in the market right now and there's several reasons why. Firstly, it's one of the few altcoins with good market structure against Bitcoin right now. It's got a major narrative attached to it which is the Bitcoin halving and lastly the Nakamoto upgrade. This is the biggest catalyst I've seen for a project in a few years and I don't feel comfortable accumulating anything else in this market but STX. And if you take a look at this simple narrative here, it's not going to take a lot for people to start to buy into this and start to believe it. But just keep in mind that this is a short term position for me, aka a narrative play. I think everyone should have a section in their portfolio dedicated to playing narratives where they practice positioning for narratives and taking profit. Think of it like training for the real old season. You get to experience how tops form for narratives, you get to see how the trend becomes exhausted. Investing in crypto is a skill, something you need to actively work on and improve at. That's why in my portfolio I now have 10% where I can freely move it, positioning for narratives in advance. And if you don't know how to play narratives or you're not that confident in doing so, I'll help you learn in this channel so don't worry. I should also make it clear that this is spot, never ever leverage trade. So I'm going to sum up what I'm doing in this market in simple terms. I have 10% cash, 10% in STX. STX is a free position that can change so really around 20% cash. Unlike other influencers, I'm not going to tell you to go all in on these dips. People in premium were asking me if they should start buying when Bitcoin was at 68k and I was like, no, it's too early. I believe that the conditions and context of the market have now changed very quickly. If you look at this daily candle, it does look kind of bad. You can see how consistently we're starting to lose the daily trend now. These are early warning signs that the trend is weakening. So that's why whilst the high time frame is still bullish, you should allow yourself some breathing room to accumulate slowly in case we get a lot of chop in the coming months. If you have a small percentage of cash left, use it sparingly so it lasts you a long time. Last cycle, it took five months before we saw any action again from this point. I'm prepared for that possibility that for a few weeks to a few months, this market does nothing. And to manage my emotions, I'm allocating my remaining cash very slowly so I can take advantage and stay active in a boring bleeding market. Managing your emotions is 80% of what we do in crypto. And regarding whether we top in 2024 or 2025, it's 50-50 whether we continue from here for an early cycle top or if we consolidate and build a base for a few months and then go for it in 2025. No one really knows, but when the time comes to sell, I'll know it in the moment and I'll let you know. Lastly, wait for these videos. They're going to be some of the best content crypto YouTube has to offer and you can use them for some education, not financial advice. You might even see me break away from the old coins that I currently hold into entirely new ones. Make sure you join the Discord for gold alerts and the DGen plays role and say hello to me when you do join.